Hello, 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 wonderful people. Welcome back to my microbiology playlist. This video is brought to you by Picmonic, pictured mnemonics that help you remember. Today we shall talk about Trypanema pallidum, which causes syphilis, Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease, and Leptospira enterogans, which causes leptospirosis. See the link in the description for a special offer from Picmonic. On my channel, you'll find a playlist called Picmonic and another playlist called Microbiology. In video number one, we talk talked about gram-positive rods, video number two, also more gram-positive rods. Video number three, we started the gram-positive cocci as Staph aureus, Strep pneumo. In video number four, we talked about Strep viridans, Strep pyogeny, Strep agalactia, Enterococci, and Strep bovis. In part 5, we talked about anthrax, we talked about tuberculosis and leprosy. In part 6, it was the Neisseria meningitidis, Neisseria gonorrhea, and Moraxella cataralis. In part 7, it was the Haemophilus, the Bordetella, the Pestorella, the Brucella, and the Francisella. Here is a pro tip for you. On your exam, if it ends in Ella, it's most likely gram-negative, not gram-positive. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule. Some gram positives end in ELA, but they are not very famous. Legionella, oh, that's another gram negative, but it does not stain well with gram. That's why we need a silver stain. Don't forget H. pylori, Campylobacter jejuni, Vibrio cholera, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Proteus mirabilis, and Salmonella. Salmonella causes bloody diarrhea, just like Shigella and interhemorrhagic. E. coli. Yersinia enterocolitica causes gastroenteritis also with bloody diarrhea, but Yersinia pestis causes the black plague. Today we will talk about bacteria that look like spirals, i.e. spirochetes, and these include Trypanema pallidum, which causes the disease known as syphilis, Leptospira enterogans, which causes leptospirosis, as well as Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease. Syphilis has three stages, primary, then it disappears, then secondary, and it disappears, then tertiary. The last one is horrible. Next is leptospirosis, which has two phases. The first one is septicemic phase, and then when your antibodies develop, you have an immune phase. This disease is caused by Leptospira enterogans, another spirochete. The third spirochete is Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease, which also has three stages. There is early Lyme disease, there is early disseminated Lyme disease, and there is late disseminated or simply late Lyme disease. What are we studying right now? Microbiology, the science or the study of small life. Microbes are divided into bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. And that's why microbiology as a science is divided into bacteriology, fungology or mycology, virology, and parasitology. Let's talk about bacteriology. With the gram stain, we have gram positive or gram negative. Thick peptidoglycan cell wall versus thin peptidoglycan cell wall. Gram positives could be cocci or rods. Gram negatives could be cocci or rods. The gram positive cocci could be catalase positive like staph or catalase negative like strep. The gram positive rods could be spore forming or non-spore forming. The non-spore forming include all the following. Listeria, Corynebacterium diphtheria, Nocardia, and Actinomyces. As for the spore-forming ones, they include Bacillus cereus, Bacillus anthracis, and don't forget the anaerobic spore-forming ones, which include the Clostridioides. Clostridium tetani causes tetanus, Clostridium botulinum causes botulism, Clostridium difficile causes pseudomembranous colitis, and Clostridium perfringens causing gas gangrene and muscle necrosis. Video number three covered the staphs. Video number four covered many streps. Video number 5 talked about Bacillus anthracis, which causes anthrax, Bacillus cereus, which causes food poisoning, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which causes tuberculosis, and Mycobacterium leprae, which causes leprosy. These two do not stain well with gram stain, and that's why we need an acid fast stain instead. Today, we are talking about bacteria that anatomically are gram negative, but they do not stain well with gram stain. And sometimes the only way to see them is a dark field microscope. If you want a chart that can help you categorize all of these bacteria, there is one that you can download at Picmonic. Use the link in the description. Syphilis, depicted by Greek character Sisyphus, is caused by the bacteria Trepanema pallidum, the tripod pendulum. This bacteria is a spirochete with characteristic motility, represented by the action lines on the spiral spirochete. Syphilis has three different stages of disease. 
In primary syphilis, patients present with a painless chancre portrayed by the chain car. Note that the chain car is crashing into a region of the body that normally causes pain, but Sisyphus is smiling like a champ. If untreated, one-third of patients can progress to secondary syphilis where patients can get condylomata lata, the condom latte, and generalized lymphadenopathy, Lyme with ad signs. Patients also get a characteristic rash on palms and soles. If untreated for long periods of time, some patients can progress to tertiary syphilis, which includes aortitis, the aorta orca on fire, gummas, portrayed by the bubble gum with granny llama inside, as well as neurosyphilis, portrayed by the neurons. Other manifestations include argyle robertson pupils, argyle pattern eyes, damage to the vasa visorum, depicted by vases inside vases on the aorta orca vessels, and tabes dorsalis, the table door. Treatment is penicillin, shown by the pencil villain. However, some patients get a severe reaction to penicillin called Yarish Herxheimer, represented by the picture of the Jewish Hercules that pencil villain is holding. So in short, syphilis is caused by treponema pallidum, which is a spirochete with characteristic motility. In primary syphilis, patients have a painless chancre. In secondary syphilis, patients can develop condylomata lata and generalized lymphadenopathy. Additionally, they can get a rash on their palms and soles, and in tertiary syphilis, aortitis can develop along with gummas and neurosyphilis. Other manifestations include argyle robertson pupils, damage to the vasa visorum, and tabes dorsalis. Treatment for syphilis is the antibiotic penicillin, which can sometimes lead to a yarish herxheimer reaction. Let's review. Syphilis is caused by trypanema pallidum, which is a spirochete. Primary syphilis has the painless chancre. This chancre has a clean base. The chancre is painless and the bilateral inguinal lymphadenopathy is also painless. Then we go to secondary syphilis with the generalized lymphadenopathy and condyloma lata. Not to be confused with condyloma acuminata, which is human papillomavirus. In secondary syphilis, there is generalized rash, including the palms and the soles. Tertiary syphilis is the horrible one. It's called gamma. Gamma is the granuloma of syphilis. Syphilitic aortitis, neurosyphilis, tabes dorsalis, and argyle robertson pupil. We treat syphilis with penicillin. Syphilis is one of the congenital torch infections that can occur when transmitted vertically from mother to child. In this picmonic, we describe the spirochete bacterial infection, syphilis, as syphilis sisyphus, a character from Greek mythology. Notice that we use the spirals on the boulder to represent spirochete. Also, make note that torch infections are portrayed in picmonics as a special torch, which illustrates several nonspecific torch symptoms, including hepatosplenomegaly, shown by the liver-shaped flame on the torch jaundice, shown by the yellow color of the torch, and thrombocytopenia, the trombone peanut torch handle. Now, congenital syphilis can result in stillbirth, shown by the baby stone statue, or cause hydrops fatalis of the infant, portrayed by the eyedrop fetus, which is a condition of abnormal fluid accumulation in at least two compartments of the fetus. If the child survives any perinatal complications, deformities of the bone are common, beginning with a sharp anterior bowing of the tibia, a development called saber shins, illustrated as the saber-toothed tiger biting the shin. Those born with congenital syphilis often display notched teeth, seen literally as the notched teeth, and these are often referred to as Hutchinson's teeth. These teeth are smaller, more widely spaced than normal teeth, and display notches on the biting surfaces. Another dental complication of syphilis is the presence of dwarfed molars with cusps covered with globular enamel growths, referred to as mulberry molars. These symptoms present in early childhood, after the age of two. In contrast, one of the earliest symptoms of congenital syphilis is snuffles, or persistent rhinitis, and this is seen before the age of two. Patients commonly display a collapse of the bridge of the nose, a finding described as saddle nose, represented by the saddle on the nose. Inflammation of the cornea in congenital syphilis can lead to blindness, portrayed by the blinds over the eyes, and sensorineural hearing loss, or deafness, pictured by the headphones covering the ears. Finally, hepatitis, shown by the liver in flames, is also a known manifestation of congenital syphilis. So let's recap syphilis, which is one of the congenital torch infections to be aware of. Infants who contract this infection often display nonspecific torch symptoms, which include hepatosplenomegaly, jaundice, and thrombocytopenia. Often, vertically transmitted syphilis results in stillbirth and is linked to abnormal fluid accumulation, a phenomenon termed hydrops fatalis. Bone deformities are common with congenital syphilis, with patients going on to develop saber shins, notched teeth, and a saddle nose. 
Other complications of this infection include blindness, deafness, and hepatitis. Congenital syphilis as a torch infection can lead to stillbirth and hydrops fatalis. Other symptoms include saber shins, the saddle nose, the notched teeth, blindness, deafness, and hepatitis. Remember leptospirosis and Wiles disease by this leopard spiral tail pirate and whale in the story of the brave whale that confronted the pirates. Leptospirosis is common in tropical regions, shown as the tropical Hawaiian surfer. When water becomes contaminated with animal urine, shown as the ocean with toxic urine, leptospira organisms can enter the body through cuts or abrasions in the skin, mucous membranes, or conjunctivi. For this reason, people who spend a lot of time around water sources such as surfers, farmers, and sewage workers are at elevated risk. This disease is caused by Leptospira interrogans, the leopard spiral, which is a spirochete, the spiral spirochete staircase. Leptospira is unique in that it has a hooked-shaped end, shown as the hooked end tail. Leptospirosis presents with flu-like symptoms, the thermometer and ice bag. These symptoms include myalgias, particularly of the calves and lower back, fever, headache, and gastrointestinal distress. Conjunctival suffusion is a classic but often overlooked clinical feature of this disease. It is different from conjunctivitis in that inflammatory exudates are absent. This is represented by the convict red eyes. Photophobia, the lamp monster, is also common. A severe form of leptospirosis is known as Wiles disease, or icterohemorrhagic leptospirosis. In Wiles disease, liver and kidney dysfunction can be seen, along with multi-organ involvement from systemic spread of the bacteria. This is shown as the dead kidney and liver. Jaundice, the jaundice janitor, is due to acute liver failure. Patients with Wiles disease are at an increased risk for hemorrhage, the hemorrhage hammer. This may be due to increased vascular permeability, complement activation, and immune-mediated damage to cells. Pulmonary hemorrhage is a major cause of mortality. Anemia is often seen on labs given the hemorrhagic diathesis in these patients. This is shown as the anemone. So, to recap, leptospirosis is common in tropical regions where water is contaminated with animal urine. It is caused by leptospira interrogans, a spirochete with hook-shaped ends. Clinical features of this disease include flu-like symptoms, photophobia, and conjunctival suffusion. Wiles disease is a severe form of leptospirosis and can lead to liver and kidney dysfunction, jaundice, hemorrhage, and anemia. Leptospirosis exists in the tropical regions near water contaminated with animal urine, and that's why one way to diagnose leptospirosis is to look for the spirochetes in the urine and to visualize those spirochetes with dark field microscopy. There are flu-like symptoms conjunctivitis with photophobia. Affects my liver, affects my kidney, can lead to jaundice, hemorrhage, as well as anemia. Borrelia burgdorferi, shown as the burglar fairy with the barrel sneaking into the castle, is an important bacteria to remember. It is the cause of Lyme disease, the Lyme castle, which is a systemic illness that begins with skin findings and can progress to involvement of the heart and nervous system. Borrelia burgdorferi is a spirochete, meaning that it looks like a corkscrew on microscopy shown here by the spiral spirochete staircase. It's hard to visualize these bacteria microscopically because they don't gram stain well. Therefore, special techniques are used to visualize them, including dark field microscopy, the dark field. Borrelia can also be seen using special stains like the Giamza stain, shown as the gems. The silver stain is another option, shown by the silver. Borrelia burgdorferi typically live inside woodland mammals who form a natural reservoir for the disease, especially the white-footed mouse, shown as the mouse. The main vector that spreads Borrelia is the Exodes tick, portrayed by the X tick in this pygmonic. These ticks acquire Borrelia from biting reservoir animals and can then spread the disease to humans. The Exodes tick can carry multiple other pathogens as well. Babesia, the baby seal, is a protozoa that can be transmitted during tick bites and results in a hemolytic illness. Anaplasma, the plasma, is a rickettsial bacteria that can also be obtained from a tick bite, resulting in a flu-like illness. Lyme disease progresses through three main stages. In the first stage, patients develop flu-like symptoms, shown by the thermometer and ice bag. 
A targetoid skin lesion called erythema migrans is also characteristic, illustrated by the red migrating ducts with the target lesion. It's also called a bullseye rash, shown by the bullseye in this pycmonic. In the second stage of disease, inflammation spreads to the nervous system and heart. Patients can develop neurologic complications such as bilateral Bell's palsy, two ladders to the drooping bell with drooping sides, which presents as facial muscle weakness. Conduction defects in the heart may also be seen and typically present as heart block, shown as the heart with conduction cables. In the third stage of Lyme disease, patients develop an arthropathy with significant joint pain, illustrated by King Arthur in a party hat. Encephalopathy and neuropathies can also arise. Treatment for Lyme disease involves the antibiotic doxycycline, the dachshund cycling. Ceftriaxone, the chef with three axes, can also be used, especially for more severe cases. So, in summary, Borrelia burgdorferi is the cause of Lyme disease. It's a spiral-shaped spirochete bacterium, which can be visualized with special techniques, including dark field microscopy or the use of Giamza and silver stains. An important animal reservoir is the white-footed mouse. Borrelia is spread by bites from the Ixodes tick, which can also transmit the pathogens Babesia and Anaplasma. Lyme disease progresses through three stages, first with flu-like symptoms and erythema migrans, also called a bullseye rash. In stage two of disease, bilateral Bell's palsy and conduction defects in the heart can develop. In the third and final stage, arthropathy occurs with worsening neurologic involvement. Treatment options include doxycycline and ceftriaxone. Next, we have Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease. We see it by dark field microscopy or by the Giemsa stain or the silver stain, the white foot mouse and the Ixodes tick. This same Ixodes tick also carries Babesia and anaplasmosis. So Ixodes tick can carry three diseases. Number one, Lyme disease. Number two, Babesiosis. Number three, anaplasmosis. Symptoms include flu-like symptoms and erythema migraines. There is the Bull's eye rash, bilateral Bell's palsy, conduction defects in the heart, such as third degree AV block. And don't forget the joint disease. How do we treat Lyme disease? Early with doxycycline, late with ceftriaxone. Lyme disease is described in this pycmonic by the Lyme castle, where the ticks live and the revolt going on outside, threatening to overthrow this rich family. Lyme disease is transmitted by ticks and is vector-borne, not person to person. This is represented by the ticks presenting their newborn to the townspeople. Signs of disease include flu-like symptoms, the thermometer and ice bag on the guard protecting this castle. The townspeople see this guard's sickness as an opportunity to overthrow the kingdom, and this bullseye with red migrating ducts tells them where to attack, representing the bullseye rash, known as erythema migrans, that can occur with this disease. Patients have joint pain and stiffness, the joint pain bull and stiff board, who is holding on to the castle as a means to let the townspeople in. Facial paralysis can also occur, shown as the face in a wheelchair who wants to use this board to get across. He is being pushed by the ABX guy who represents that antibiotics like doxycycline and ceftriaxone are used to treat Lyme disease. Furthermore, patients can avoid disease with prevention, like long-sleeved clothing and bug repellent, shown as the guy wearing long sleeves and using bug repellent. So let's summarize Lyme disease. It is transmitted by ticks as it is vector-borne. Patients have flu-like symptoms and a bullseye rash called erythema migrans. They can get joint pain and stiffness along with facial paralysis. Considerations of treatment include antibiotic treatment and prevention techniques. Lyme disease is a vector-borne illness. This is the Ixodes tick. Symptoms include flu-like symptoms, bull's eye rash, joint pain and stiffness, as well as facial paralysis because of the unilateral or bilateral Bell's palsy. Prevented with mosquito repellents or wearing long sleeves. Try to cover as much of your body as possible. Treatment-wise, we have antibiotics such as doxycycline and ceftriaxone. 
Quiz time. Can you please answer these three questions in the comment section? Pickmonic has thousands of pictured mnemonics. After each one, you have a quiz, which consists of many multiple choice questions. Pickmonic lets you browse by your favorite book, including the 2023 edition of First Aid. You can also browse by subject or by system. Every day they give you a quiz to test your knowledge with pictures, of course. And this is my methodology of using Picmonic. I watch, I watch again, I pause and stare at the picture. I close my eyes and try to recall as many points as possible. Then I open my eyes and test myself again. I answer the multiple choice questions. I get a blank piece of paper and write down the places of the characters. Then I repeat the same Picmonic on the second day, after five days and after 30 days. And believe me, you will be remembering this Picmonic for a long time. I still remember many of the Picmonics that I've watched 10 years ago. It is absolutely astonishing. You can try Picmonic for free. You can watch these Picmonics on your computer or using the Picmonic apps. Why do I like it? Because it has visual cues, audio, storytelling, you read a script, space repetition, multiple choice questions, you can even create your own Picmonics. In this video, the Picmonic on leptospirosis was created by a student just like you. And as we do at the end of every Picmonic video, we review and compare. We talked about three organisms today, the spirochetes, Trypanema pallidum, Leptospira interrogans, and Borrelia burgdorferi, who named these things. They are anatomically gram-negative, but for many reasons, they do not stain well with gram stain. And that's why we need to see them on dark field microscopy as spirochetes like you see here. Trypanema pallidum causes syphilis, Leptospira interrogans causes leptospirosis, Borrelia burgdorferi causes Lyme disease. Syphilis has three stages, primary syphilis, painless chancre and painless lymphadenopathy, secondary syphilis, condylomata lata, disseminated skin lesions and generalized lymphadenopathy. And don't forget that the rash can involve the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Tertiary syphilis has aortitis neurosyphilis. The granuloma of syphilis is called gamma, but the granuloma of tuberculosis is called tuberculoma. Leptospirosis, first phase is septicemic phase, all the symptoms, fever, jaundice, hemorrhage, kidney failure, conjunctivitis, photophobia. The moment you start to have abundance of antibodies against leptospira, you enter the immune phase. And when your immunity develops, you will kick all of those spirochetes into the urine, so you can visualize them on urine dark field microscopy. Lyme disease, early, early disseminated and late disseminated. Early, erythema migrans, the bull's eye rash. Early disseminated, we have the Bell's palsy, could be unilateral or bilateral, cranial nerve seven, paralysis. Conduction blocks of the heart, including third degree heart block. Late disseminated, the arthritis, the encephalitis and the peripheral neuritis or neuropathy. How can we diagnose syphilis? Dark field microscopy by taking a sample from the painless chancre base. To see the spirochetes, remember that in primary syphilis, the antibodies have not developed yet, so serology is usually futile in primary syphilis. But in secondary and tertiary syphilis, of course, you can do serology. We have screening tests, which are not very specific, and confirmatory tests, which are specific. The screening ones are rapid plasma reagent and VDRL. Let me ask you a question. What's the name of the disease that has falsely positive VDRL? Meaning the patient has positive VDRL, but the patient has no syphilis whatsoever. What's the name of that disease? Comment below. Confirmatory tests include MHATPA and FTA ABS. To diagnose leptospirosis, urine dark field microscopy, serum enzyme immunoassay, and urine test for the antigen. To diagnose Lyme disease, look for the rash, dark field microscopy, and serology. Can PCR help? Yes, of course. Treatment of syphilis, penicillin G, which is an injection, whereas penicillin V is oral. What if I am allergic to penicillin? Then take doxycycline. What if I am allergic to penicillin, but I am pregnant, which means I cannot take doxy? What should I do then? We do desensitization for the penicillin. Have you noticed that all of the spirochetes can be treated with doxycycline? Yes, indeed. Doxycycline for leptospirosis, doxycycline for early Lyme disease. But if it's late, disseminated ciftriaxone. Let's review syphilis. Primary syphilis is the painless chancre. Secondary syphilis is the condylomata lata with the lymphadenopathy and the rash on the palms and the soles. Tertiary syphilis is syphilitic aortitis and neurosyphilis. And gamma is the granuloma. Congenital syphilis is one of the torch infections, can lead to saber chins, saddle nose, Hutchinson teeth or notch teeth, deafness, blindness, and hepatitis. 
Leptospirosis, tropical regions because animals urinate near water. Flu-like symptoms, conjunctivitis and photophobia. Liver disease, kidney disease and anemia. Borrelia burgdorferi, don't forget the exodia stick, the white-footed mouse, game sustain or silver stain or dark field microscopy, the target light crash or erythema migraines, bilateral Bell's palsy, conduction defects in the heart, arthralgia or arthritis, treat the early form with doxycycline, but if it's too late, it's time to ax the disease with ceftriaxone. And this is Lyme disease again, joint problems, facial drooping, bullseye rash, flu-like symptoms, prevent with mosquito repellents and wearing long sleeves and treat with doxy or ceftriaxone. You can enjoy these 1800 plus Picmonics by visiting the website. Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis for a special discount for my students. You'll find the link in the description and in the first comment. You can learn about all of these bacteria from Picmonic. You can learn about viruses, fungi, parasites, and it's not just microbiology. They also have pharmacology picmonics, which are epic, genetics picmonics, OBGYN, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, psychology, even epidemiology and biostatistics. I really do love this site. Whether you want to be a doctor, a nurse, PA, pharmacist, PT, OT, you name it, Picmonic has a bunch of tools for you. You can also download their app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. So what are you waiting for? Try Picmonic today. If you are serious about it, you can finish all of these Picmonics in two or three months. And you would have learned tons of facts and more importantly, remember them for a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Picmonic for sponsoring this video. Check out the rest of my Picmonic playlist for more videos and go to picmonic.com to sign up.